Oh my god. He's finally done it. He's got the 100 plus in the 6v6 domination. Oh my god. Let me tell you guys, right? I've been trying to do this all year. And, I, well, I say that I only have um, two days played. So, to be honest, I haven't tried that much. But it's it, it's harder than you'd think. Like, in 9v9, getting 100 plus. I think you need just, like, two... I'll go through this in a second. But I think you just need two sets of score streaks. And then a few more gun kills. And you're good as long as not too many people leave. But 6v6, there are so many factors that can lead uh, to getting you the 100 kills. And I finally did it, 102 to 3. If you guys could smash, as people say, that like button, that would be awesome. But anyway, using the M8A1 and uh, the VSAT, the dogs, and the swarm. Now, the main problem for me was not playing the game. I've started playing again. I've been pushing for the for the 100 kills, um, using a lot of non-lethal lethals as well. So that whole two days I've played, I haven't really been going for the 100 plus the whole time. But I decided, do you know what? I feel in a kill hoary 100 plusy kind of mood. I'm going to go for it in 6v6. But first, you guys are going to say, Aiden, well, if you want 100 plus so bad in, you know, I've had plenty of 100 pluses not in uh, in Nuketown. Um, I've actually got another gameplay, which is in Nuketown, um, which I'm not going to spoil, which is absolutely ridiculous because it's not using the Swarm or anything. It's using the Stealth Chopper, the Escort Drone, the VSAT, and uh, that was pretty crazy. i um, not going to spoil that, but you guys will definitely enjoy that as well. But, uh, yeah, the main reason is people leave, man, and... The difference is when people leave on ground war, say three people leave, you've still got six people left, your, your swarm's still getting kills. On this, if three people leave, three people are left, and do you know what happens when three people are left? The three people realize there are only three people left, and they leave. So, uh, just one set, well, just one swarm can really fuck your game up. To be honest, it can actually just ruin it, so I end up giving up on it, but I decided to put it back on. Now, as I mentioned before, I think in ground war to get to get 100 kills, you're just gonna need two sets um, of streaks. Like that'd be dog swarm, and uh, then the rest you can do with gun kills. As long as you really don't fuck up, you can just get the the other few kills you need. And not to say that's easy. The reason I don't do that is because I don't like ground war. I don't like the connection. Um, I like being able to control the game. I feel that in 6v6 because there's less players, I can kind of use B. I can cap B. I can win games. I can play the objective. Um, I just find it more fun, a lot more manageable. Um, I don't like it when I go around corners. Look, there's three guys in front of me. I kill one, maybe I kill two, and the third guy, second guy, third guy kills me. And I'm just like, ah, oh, if only it was one-on-one -on -one gunfights all day, because that's what's skillful. And people are going to say, well, killing three people is skillful. Of course it is, but I don't think you can do that every time. Also, ground war, I don't like that I have to play TDM as well. Um, you have domination and TDM, they rotate. If it was just domination, maybe I'd be a little bit more tempted. And, uh, yeah, just more bullshit. And I can't control the game. I feel like in 6v6 is slower, which does benefit me a lot more. Um, not because I'm, I'm a bad player, just because you can set up for gunfights. You only have to fight one guy at a time, which makes it a lot more manageable. The downside is when you get kill streaks they do it feels like even though there's only 50% more players in ground war it feels like your kill streaks do like half as much work like seriously all it takes in ground war if like say in ground war three people get inside a building and the other six are getting killed then you get six people getting killed but if three people get inside a building on ground on 6v6 you only got three people getting killed that's suddenly half little things like that a little bit of math for you but yeah I ended up getting I didn't spoil this I ended up getting three sets of streaks on this um 6v6 domination game and they all and that's with the dog that's the dogs in the swarm and they all get full time and they get considerable they do okay they don't do that bad they actually get me a few kills and I only just get the hundred and well to be fair um what you did see is I already had 14 kills I think at the start of the match or something like that maybe it was less um I died off the VSAT, or did I get the VSAT and then die? But I died around the VSAT, I did choke on my first life. And I definitely believe if I'd have got that VSAT, got the streaks and carried on the momentum um, straight away, maybe I'd have managed to get 110, 120 kills. Um, so that is a shame, but this is definitely my best gameplay on Black Ops 2. Only three deaths, and a couple of deaths were at the end when I was trying to rush for that 100 because my score streaks had finished, and I'm trying to. Um, just, I knew there wasn't time to get another set. I just had to go around getting the gun kills. You'll see, it's quite entertaining at the end. It's quite interesting. But yeah, three sets of streaks with the dogs in the swarm, and people did leave. And so, you have to get lucky. You have to. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my 96 to one game on oh, what map was it? 
Slums, slums. One of my favourite maps. Oh, there's the nuclear, by the way. I do get a nuclear in this game. Um, one of my, yeah, let's say my, one of my best gameplays. 96 to 1. And I was using, what was I using? I think I was using the, was it the stealth chopper, the escort, no, maybe it was the VSAT, the escort drone, and the warthog, or maybe it was the stealth chopper, VSAT, warthog, or stealth chopper, um, escort drone, warthog, something like that. It was them three. One of those <laughs> sets of three. And I must have got five, six sets of those, and they're not easy to get. Um, and I only get 96 kills because people all left. And oh, for a minute, for a minute, I thought it was gonna be impossible for me to get 100 kills in 6v6. Like, I could have just played ground war, but what's 100 kills in ground war? That's not impressive at all. I think being able to do it in 6v6 take is something different. Um, it requires a lot more map knowledge. You have to win. Uh, your gunfight's somewhat a lot more important. If you fuck up one streak, because the game's slower, if you fuck up a streak, you might not have time to build up that streak again. Whereas in ground war, you can run around a corner, see three guys, and suddenly you're back on your way. In 6v6, it doesn't quite work like that. It's a lot of a slower game, or more tactical, I think. I don't know. I, I really do appreciate watching 6v6 gameplay, let like a high scoring. Anything above 70 kills. I'd, I'd rather watch a 70 kill 6v6 game than, say, a 100, 110 kill um, 9v9 game. Even though I do enjoy, obviously, I enjoy watching the 160 kill uh, to 200 kill games, but they're also with full teams, which I would like to get onto. This is a 102, 23. I'm going to put Solo in the title, and this was actually discussed. I can't remember whether it was over Power Channel or Doom Clan that discussed the, the kind of solo element. I'm actually playing with one friend here, but he, um, I can't remember if he's using the VSATs. But if you keep an eye on the map, I'm not sure if he earns one. He might earn one. And so, and we're just playing together. He's not, you know, running support for me. I think he's, oh, I can't remember what kill streaks he's using. But, um, so I, I'd like, I think that still counts as solo gameplay. Because all the VSATs, all the streaks, I get myself i don't have anyone spawn trapped everyone is free to do their thing um so i definitely think that counts as solo that's it this isn't full team gameplay 100 kills full team yeah i'm sure anyone could pop out 140 kills 6v6 if people don't leave um there's so many elements to youtube gameplays and oh i i find that it's quite weird when i'm browsing through youtube to see what titles people give their videos because there's so many different things there's solo there's um like I said, 200 plus is uh, solo, there's 300 plus is um, there with parties, there's 6v6, there's ground war. Like, should someone who puts 160 kills have to put that it's ground war, or should someone that's 100 kills have to put that it's 6v6? Because really, I think 100 kills is equivalent to 150, 160 kills, because of the, the player's difference. The, the potential of the score streaks is so vast. But in my title, I'm like just going to put 102 to 3, and everyone's going to assume, because of what everyone else uploads, that it's 9v9. And I wouldn't, uh, maybe I wouldn't watch a 102 to 3 if it was on a uh, 99. I don't know. Maybe that's just my mindset. Maybe I'm just really pessimistic. But here, you can see I'm actually chasing up all the kills. Oh, get it, Aiden. Get that double kill. I think I end up, oh, okay. I think I'm on 99, and I end up going from 100 to 101 here. Get the double kill. There's 100, 101. I was absolutely buzzing. Anyway, guys, as I said, if you could leave this a like, that'd be brilliant. My, um, I have started uploading recently. I think it's my fifth day in a row of uploading. I do intend on carrying on. I've got plenty of gameplays. I played for a while yesterday and played really well. Um, so I'll definitely be continuing. The views have been pretty pretty down, but that doesn't bother me at all. If you guys, uh, the guys that are watching it, I really appreciate that. Even if it's only 30, 40 of you, 50 of you, I'm still appreciate it a lot. So if you could leave a like, that'd be brilliant. So that, guys.